Hey, what is going on guys? Hex Competitive back again today with Brandon Fedor and as always down in the title below will be the topic we're talking about today. So got Kusin Tochi Hysteric. It has finally been released and dubbed. You guys can watch that where you watch it. I don't know where you watch it, but it's finally been released dubbed and I really wanted to make this video because I want to go back to my old self in a sense doing like more of these, hey, this has been released, dubbed, this has been released because I know a lot of you guys do enjoy that and especially since I was reviewing got Kusin Tochi Hysteric, there's always people asking me, is it dubbed? Is it dubbed? And I I know a lot of you guys do want to watch it dubbed so I was like hey I'm gonna go make this video I literally watched the first three episodes I really wanted to get a grasp on the characters <clears throat> so you guys could you know kind of you know know how to go into this and like what to expect and let's start with Julius her voice actor I just want to talk about like do I like him Julius is someone I'm really warming up to more and more I guess it's someone I didn't really expect to have the kind of voice she did but the voice fits her i'm definitely starting to like her more and more just her voice actor so i'll, I'll give it to them say they did a good job there and i'm not gonna say great but i'm gonna say they definitely did a good job because when they, whenever someone does a great job voice acting you know it's just it clicks with you so next i'm gonna go with ayato ayato's okay he's not bad I feel as if they should have got someone definitely with the high pitch that he has, but a little bit deeper, a little bit more of a bare tone kind of tone. Um, definitely, De I think oh, just a little bit deeper. I, I'm not even gonna try to do his voice actor, but it's it's higher. Um, next is Se Seiya. I think they did a good job on Seiya. Seiya is good, good. I mean, I don't think you could have done much better. Um, maybe you could have, I don't know, but I think Seiya is good, a okay. And I say she's a little bit better than Julius. I'd say. Claudia, uh, she needs a different voice actor. She's way too high pitched. Like Claudia just looks like a girl that'd be more of a baritone kind of woman. And I don't mean that in a manly sense, for God's sake, because she definitely don't look manly. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely someone that's too high pitched. I mean, Ayato's really close to where he needs to be, but Claudia's definitely yeah, he has a high octagon. So <laughs> yeah, definitely no, 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 no. Um, the interviewer, the reporter guy. Definitely good, really good, and I can't remember the guy who always wants to fight Julius. He's, you know, he's kind of like a bit like a shit break and just kind of stands there. Uh, I can't remember his name. I can't remember his freaking name. And he's the one that tried to get to Servesta um, before Ayato did, but he failed. Um, I can't remember his name, but you guys probably know who I'm talking about. He wields the axe, I believe. He did a good job. I really like his voice actor. I don't think he could have done much better. I mean, he, he's good. Haven't seen Korean though. I'm only on episode three. But yeah, Ayato, okay. Julius, pretty good. Seiya, good. I really liked her. Claudia, not so good. And shit break. <laughs> shit break. Uh, he's pretty good too. He's, he's good. He's good too. So, as always, guys, you've been Hex. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow my Twitter at Hex25. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.